working with this program, Recology Artist in Residency program this year, um, I was able to get an access to um, a lot of different uh, materials. I've been working with um, recycled styrofoam objects um, that are often used to package another precious objects like uh, electronic gadgets or um, houseware appliances and all of those things that are supposed to protect and house and hold these uh, modern day objects. I was able to focus on using uh, house paint, latex enamel paint to coat all of these objects initially and then finding their negative space that used to house these objects, right? Um, and bringing those um, negative space into the foreground and giving them another sense of objectivity. I didn't think I was going to be an artist, to be honest. Um, I love drawing, I love painting, I love scrapbooking, collaging. Um, ever since I was little, but I didn't think that I could, you know, really work on discipline myself into become a practicing working artist. I do remember when I was um, 12, 13, um, going through this kind of changes in my life, and I wanted to Instead of facing that change directly, I wanted to leave everything. And so I decided to leave the country I was born in and was raised in. Um, and yeah, I just decided to come to the US at age 14, yeah. I packed up everything, came as an exchange student initially, and I decided to stay and go to school. Pretty much when I got to my sophomore year when I declared my major as international relations and economics and I just at that point I just had a kind of mental breakdown in a sense I was like okay I can't keep doing this I got to pursue what I love doing already so that's when I switched uh, my major into art and yeah I was able to do about six months apprenticeship under um, an artist named James Gilbert. My senior year, I was apprenticed under my former college painting professor, um, Warren Green, helping him with his exhibition. And so, yes, while I was taking classes, um, I was able to kind of put myself into this mode of making, mode of um, creating and learning what other professional artists are doing. Um, even though I was taking a lot of painting classes in undergrad, I declared my major as studio art and I got a degree as Bachelor of Fine Arts. I received my painting uh, Master's in Fine Arts from Central Washington University. I still see these as paintings. I still very much have the language of painting going through my work. I mean, of course, there's always a concern with parents. Uh, how are you going to make your living? How are you going to, you're gonna be a starving artist. <laughs> uh, I mean, those preconceived notions are exactly what they are, preconceived notions that, you know, rarely have backing actually. I think there is enough industry, enough, um, communities um, to support and um, flourish as a working artist, as an artist. By having lived in different communities throughout the U.S., um, from Massachusetts down to Nash Nashville, Tennessee, to Dallas, Texas, to now Seattle, Washington, um, there are communities everywhere. There are industries, and they're always looking for working artists to be part of the community. I'll be foolish not to 
acknowledge the power of social media. For example, this past spring, um, the number of SOIL members uh, were able to go to New York for our fair. And from there, I got to meet with um, the curator. And we just kind of happened to know each other through social media. <laughs> and from that, another relationship grew. I think the process of teaching helps me keep my mind open, keep my um, practice open, and just as creative, just as energetic and inventive. I'm learning. When I'm teaching, I'm learning. I'm always learning from students, with students. My work from graduate school onward have been focusing on understanding or studying traditional representation of queer identity. How about we, instead of trying to define what queer is, instead of trying to understand what queer identity or gender identity means, instead of that, how about we represent through gestures, through simple wink, if you will, 